So today we've got protein synthesis. Um, in protein synthesis, there are two types of RNA which we need to know. There's messenger RNA and then there's tRNA. So we're just going to focus on the transcription, which is the first stage of protein synthesis. But I will let you know what messenger RNA is and tRNA is, or the structure of them. So messenger RNA is a single strand, and tRNA is like a clove shape. And at one end, at one end, it's got the amino acid binding site, and the other end, it's got an anticolon. But I'll get to that in another video. So Focusing on transcription, we will start with message RNA. And first of all, what happens is this is a DNA double helix strand, two strands. And basically, RNA polymerase, which is an enzyme, it will come along, it will attach to the three prime, three prime, so the active site is complementary to the three, part, three prime strand, and it will work its way down the DNA strand, unzipping, unzipping it. So what it does, it almost creates two strands like this, and then the, the remaining of the helix carries on like that. So it's just a section of the actual DNA, which is called a gene. Now what this does is it will use one of these strands, either this one or this one, I'm going to choose this one today, as the template for RNA molecules to come along, bind and make a messenger RNA molecule. So this is a shrunk down version of this, um, but I will separate the strands here. Like that, and then the remaining carries on like that, like that. So basically, there are RNA nucleus um, floating around in the nucleus, and what they do is this RNA polymerase, what it will do is it will sort of attract, they'll be attracted towards these DNA bases. So the DNA bases are like this, so we know it's got T, C, A, and G, and then RNA, it's got, instead of T, it's U, so U, C, A, G. So these are the DNA bases and these are the um, RNA the nucleotides, or nu DNA nucleotides and RNA nucleotides, however you want to say it. And what they'll do is the RNA nucleotides will come along and they'll be attracted to the DNA bases. And they'll form hydrogen bonds like this in between. Yeah? So now what happens is RNA polymerase is still moving down, still moving down this, this way. So they're attracted now and what it will do is it will like form a backbone between these between um, the RNA nucleotides, creating almost like a full strand of um, the messenger RNA molecule. So now what it will do as it's moving down, these DNA bases like this will reform. The hydrogen bonds will reform between the two DNA strands like that and this will detach, uh, detach. So these hydrogen bonds will break and now you've got a messenger RNA just floating around in the nucleus by itself. And then the messenger RNA molecule will detach from the whole DNA strand, these will reform and then form back into this and the messenger RNA molecule will float off into the cytoplasm and to the ribosome. But that is translation in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.